Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, it's Thursday night. I realize that when I posted Monday night, I said that I was going to post every day going forward. Yeah, it clearly didn't work out that way. And let me tell you why. Because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I did film, like I always do. So I filmed on my drive up to Maryland. Yeah, kind of did a little bit more as I was driving around, going from meeting to meeting. So I did go to downtown Frederick, and I filmed as I walked along the canal, went back to the dog park, walked around, took a bunch of pictures, you know, because obviously, like I said, I do have this set up now as a street photography camera, and I wanted to test it out doing street photography. It's a great camera. The setup is great. That 40 millimeter lens is awesome and it's just it, everything is light enough and convenient enough to carry around that it was a good time doing that now where i ran into problems is that when i went back to the hotel and i tried to get everything set up to actually edit on the ipad <laughs> that's where everything went down the handbasket i didn't have a problem getting the dongle set up on the ipad to take the footage off of the card that I had from the ZV-1. I had to figure out how to, to get it over there and where I wanted to put it. So for the time being, I ended up putting it within the LumaFusion folder that was already set up. And no problem, it's not gonna stay there because then in a matter of days, I'm gonna fill that iPad up and I don't wanna do that. So for now, instead of taking it and putting it on another external drive and then you know, back and forth and all that stuff. I just put it all in the LumaFusion folder on the iPad. And that made it very easy because then I started LumaFusion and went in and was able to import that footage, technically, and get it on the timeline. I'm embarrassed to say how long it took me to actually figure all that out and to get it over there. The program's set up a little bit different because there have been several updates since the last time I used it. And it was very confusing for me. And it just got worse. I put the footage eventually onto a timeline, <laughs> but trying to uh, maneuver things and to cut where I wanted it to cut, like I was never able to cut. I didn't even know how to do that. I couldn't even get the little scissors to ungray technically to show that they were active. And I was dragging the sliders around. I was trying to, to pinch open the the footage and everything so i could get in there and th i mean the last time i saw anybody really use this i think it was the everyday dad and he had gone through and i watched him pinching and and you know opening the timeline and bringing it down and making cuts and dragging stuff it didn't work that way for me and i after spending about a half an hour fumbling about i realized it wasn't going to happen it was already almost nine o'clock and I was pretty much exhausted. Of course I had a headache and I was like, okay, I know I said I was gonna do this every day, but hell no, I'm not wasting any more time on this. So I stopped. I don't even think I filmed anything after that, that night saying that I was a dumbass and I couldn't figure out how to edit. So the next morning when I got up and I got into the, into the forerunner to start the next day's meetings, I did talk about that and I did say how, you know, sorry, I know I said I was gonna post, but like, I couldn't figure out how to edit with LumaFusion. So I filmed throughout the day on my ride back to Virginia Beach. I got back to Virginia Beach a little bit earlier than I was expecting because I was so exhausted and my head was throbbing and I was hungry and we didn't have any food. Uh, you know, it was just, I, I couldn't deal with it. So I did not take any of that footage and cut a video together yesterday either. Then segue to today. It was beautiful outside. The high was 81. There was a nice cool breeze all day. There was barely any humidity. It was amazing. And you all know what that does to me. It makes me not want to sit in my office and do work all day. And then I was like, all right, screw it. I'm, I'm going to Pleasure House Point. So I grabbed the A7R4 with the 200 to 600. And I grabbed my, my Run and Gun ZV-1 and carried it around uselessly because I never opened it and never filmed anything. But I decided that I wasn't going to take the full setup with a, with a tripod and a bag and all that kind of shit. I was going to see how I did with hand holding. I don't even have to take the pictures off the camera to tell you I did very badly 
at hand holding that that whole setup. I'm sorry. If you can hand hold that bitch and take perfect shots with or without steady shot, good on you because I cannot. Like I just it, it was like I was going like this. That's that's how much like uh, there was no bird in the crosshair, let me tell you. I could not take a picture with that thing. And I'm you know, like I finally like hung the ZV1 on a on a tree branch that was next to me and so that I could get a better grip. The only way that I could do it was the one time where there was a great blue heron across the lake and I was able to set the lens on another branch and I was able to get some shots for that. But that's not hand holding, that's using a tree as a tripod. So yeah, my experiment was a success and then it showed me that I am completely useless when it comes to hand holding that setup. So can't do that anymore otherwise it's a complete waste of time and i'm logging that shit around for no reason and that was that so i walked around pleasure house point for a while and it was just so peaceful and wonderful and i was walking by people and saying hello and saying hello to doggies as they went by it was really nice it's supposed to be the same tomorrow this would be really hard for me to do work tomorrow but i've got a lot of shit that i got to get done so after i'm done editing this video so you're going to see this video I will be sitting here at my desk for the next couple of hours doing work that needs to be done. Freaking working for a living bullshit. So that's that. I just wanted to give you, you know, an update on, yes, I did film. I did try to edit a video on the iPad with LumaFusion and I was a complete idiot about it and didn't know what the hell I was doing. So I never actually edited a video. Going forward now, whilst I'm laying there all night, you know, in my room every night watching YouTube videos and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to throw some LumaFusion into the mix there so I can see how to use that program properly. Because I seriously do want to continue to post every day, but when I'm on the road, again, I'm not lugging all my shit with me, I'm bringing my iPad. And if I can't do it with that setup, then that means that I won't be posting every day. <laughs> almost every day because I'm not on the road that much, but, but there'll be at least two days a week where there won't be a video if I can't figure that out. And if it's not easy, because if it's a rigmarole and it's a pain in the ass and, and I am at all like, ugh, seriously, then I won't do it. Point blank, there, I said it. If it isn't nice and simple, I'm not gonna bother. I can do this on Final Cut with my eyes closed. I know how to do, you know, everything that I need to do I can do. I'm sure there's a better way to do it. Doesn't matter. The way I do it is the way I do it. It's the way I know how to do it. It's the way I can do it quick and efficient, and I'm good to go. I cannot do it at all with LumaFusion on the iPad. So I'm going to start cracking the books. I'm sorry for the air quotes. I can't help myself. Help myself. So I'm going to start learning how to do that more efficiently, and then I'll start posting those videos. But for now, this is what you get. It's my mea culpa of I'm a dumbass and I didn't know how to use LumaFusion. That's why you didn't get videos for the past couple of days. And that's it. So if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, whatever, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.